What is going on, full-time family? We've got a potential super fight to talk about. Israel Adesanya versus John Jones. At 195 pounds, I'm calling it right now. There's no reason to talk about this fight at all if it's not happening at 195 pounds. Open up the weight class. Open up a new belt, meet in the middle, just like everyone wants to see with the 165-pound weight class, Khabib versus GSP, or McGregor versus GSP, or there's so many potential amazing fights we could see right in the middle of that weight class since there's a 20-pound gap, or 15 pounds in that case. But Adesanya versus John Jones, this fight actually seems to have real legs to it. They've been calling each other out the past few weeks, I mean, the past few months, uh, John Jones has been responding, reacting to Adesanya, even though they're not in the same weight class. And that's what we're going to talk about here, because Israel Adesanya says he's willing to hunt John Jones at heavyweight. My thoughts, either Israel Adesanya is smoking my mom's crack pipe, or he's snorting some creatine-laced cocaine, because this makes no fucking sense. Beep, beep, beep. Israel Adesanya needs to back it up and pump the brakes. This man is a small middleweight. I've seen him weigh in at 183 pounds. That means he makes middleweight easily. He hasn't even sniffed a 205 pound fight. Now this motherfucker's talking about fighting the greatest of all time at heavyweight. What? Pump the brakes. I like Adesanya's confidence. But you ain't got to be scared to get your ass whooped. And John Jones is responding, but check out what Israel Adesanya had to say. He said, I saw something on Instagram. By the time he goes to heavyweight, who gives a fuck about weight? I never give a fuck about weight. Since when? It's never been an issue for me. I've been in heavyweight in boxing and kickboxing. I'll do it again in MMA. So it's never been an issue for me. He can try to run to heavyweight, but I'll chase him down. I'll hunt him down if I have to. Let's break that down right there. This ain't boxing or kickboxing, homie, and I'm sure you know this. So it sounds good, but any MMA fan knows that weight matters a lot more in MMA than it does in boxing or kickboxing. Way more. In boxing and kickboxing, you get to, you get to utilize your speed. In MMA, you get a big boy, a big heavyweight, putting all his weight on you in a grappling scenario. Not only is it going to drain you faster, but it's going to be way harder to get up. So no, you cannot book no Adesanya versus no Curtis Blades just because this motherfucker's got heart. That's not how it works, but you gotta respect it. Because not only is Adesanya calling out John Jones, he, this motherfucker's calling out Yoel Romero. You know, he just took on Robert Whittaker. He's fight, gonna be fighting Paulo Costa soon, but Yoel Romero is no easy task. I mean, he's not... He don't even have to give Yoel Romero this fight. Yoel Romero's got, what, five title shots in the last year i mean coming i don't think he's won one arguably the one with whitaker some people believe yoel won but if adesanya wanted to he could just wait for the potential money fight with paulo costa because that's a fight that a lot of people want to see that he's risking by taking this yoel romero fight and it's a very dangerous fight so i mean just in the fact he's calling out yoel romero the fact that he's talking about fighting john jones at heavyweight he's definitely got heart but like I said, you don't got to be scared to get your ass whipped. And John Jones is responding. John Jones is saying, at the end of the day, this isn't K1. This isn't whatever league he used to fight in. I've watched him stepping over here. And literally, I've watched him with his legs stiff. His swagger is exciting to the fans. But I know a thousand people like him. I grew up with people like him. He doesn't impress me the way he impresses everybody else. He's scared. That's all it is. When he says you've got to respect the game or the game will humble you, he's talking about not fighting me or beating me beating his ass because he's scared. When you let a fighter like me know that you're not prepared to fight me today and you wish you had another year to prepare and all that shit, it lets me know your mental state. That's all I need to know. So John Jones, man, and that is facts. Um, there is video. I mean, there's a fight record of Israel Adesanya losing via KO and kickboxing, getting knocked stiff. I think a lot of you have probably seen that video. And if you're going to be fighting Israel Adesanya, you got to imagine his opponents or all of his potential opponents have seen that video. 
because you're going to watch all the film and the footage you can or your coaches are to get you prepared for that fight. So, of course, you want to see the fight where he lost or the fights where he was exposed in his any mistakes in his game. So, I like this fight. I, I like the idea of it, but I don't like the crazy heavyweight talk. But I will tell you what makes way more sense and that's this fight at 195 pounds. The UFC is going to do it in the future. When are they going to do it? I have no idea. They're going to open up more weight divisions. Everybody wants the 165 division. Everybody wants to see Khabib versus GSP or potentially McGregor versus GSP. Or just There's a lot of big fights that could be made at that weight class. Tony Ferguson versus you know any of these welterweights. He's talked about moving up. Kevin Lee's already moved there's a lot of tweeners michael chiesa all these guys could fight at 165 pounds just like john jones adesanya these guys could fight at 195 pounds that division wouldn't be as stacked but when you're talking about a guy that's a small middleweight going up 20 pounds to fight john jones i think 195 pounds even if you don't want to open up the division that's the perfect catch weight how about a catch weight fight John Jones versus Israel Adesanya at 195 pounds catch weight. Even if you don't want to open up a new division, that's where it's got to happen. Let's quit the heavyweight nonsense. Unless John Jones wants to go up to heavyweight and run the fucking fade with Daniel Cormier and get his ass whooped. I don't want to hear about this heavyweight nonsense. Steve Miocic might give it to him too. I don't know though. That'd be closer. I think Daniel Cormier would beat John Jones' ass if he's clean at heavyweight. 100%. Stipe, that'd be a really good fight. But yeah, man. That's my thoughts on John Jones versus Israel Adesanya. Dana White's not open to booking it right yet. He said only under the right circumstances. I would imagine those circumstances being if enough fans call for the fight, if it was at a catch weight, yada, yada, yada. And then one last little PS on this video I wanted to talk about. John Jones is going to be fighting Dominic Reyes this coming up week. Um, and he's talking about, you know, a lot of... People have criticized John Jones and his eye pokes and oblique kicks and everything that people think John Jones does that's a dirty fighter. He's been criticized for years. And it's all it's all true. John Jones is a fucking dirty fighter. Dirty, as dirty as it gets. He's gonna but honestly, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Depending on who you ask. If you're in the fight business, if you're cage fighting and you're trying to get out of there alive, you're trying to get out of there on top with your hand raised, you're going to do anything within the lines. It's not new. You know, if a referee, we, we see it all the time, not to the extent John Jones does it, but if the referee's on your right side, somebody might hold somebody's glove, you know, put their fingers in their gloves on the left side because they know the referee can't see it. Uh, just all sorts of, you see little things all the time. It's never to the extent of John Jones. You could talk about how it reflects on his character if you want. Oh, John Jones being that dirty of a fighter must mean he's a terrible person. That's another conversation for another day. But John Jones is brushing off the criticism. He says, I fight how I fight. And that lets you know, man, he's going to keep doing it until somebody does something about it. And I'm not even talking about an opponent necessarily. These referees got to get serious with John Jones in the back. I don't get it. They talk to the, every single fighter before the match. Hey, I'm the referee. These are my rules. This is what you're going to be doing in the back. So I don't know why one of these motherfuckers ain't like, hey, John Jones, you ain't going to be eye poking. I'm watching for eye pokes today. One of the reasons these referees need to start taking points or something like that because John Jones isn't going to change his fighting style. I mean, there's a documentary I watched a while back ago on Netflix, and it's called, like, The Fight Business or The Hurt Game. And John Jones is in it, and he's bragging about how he pokes people in the eyes. He's like, yep, I keep doing it, and I haven't lost yet. <laughs> and he, like, laughs after it, like, whoa. You compare John Jones to somebody like Roxanne Modafferi, the complete opposite sides of the spectrum. Roxanne Modafferi can see Macy Barber's leg is hurt, and she's going to not kick her in that leg. She's going to start kicking her in her only her healthy leg. John Jones sees that your fucking leg is broken a fight. He's going to start trying to soccer kick that motherfucker. That's going to be his new target. He's going to start throwing fucking hooks at your leg. He's, he's not punching anything but your broken leg. <laughs> 
No, but yeah, man, that's just it is what it is. John Jones fights this weekend. I mean, hate him or love him. He's got a good chance of winning this weekend. Dominic Reyes is is a dangerous fighter, but he's just not near the MMA experience, combat experience level of John Jones. And athleticism doesn't beat the greatest of all time. It would have to be, you know, he's got a puncher's chance, you could say, but John Jones, it's it's John Jones. If John Jones loses, like it's a hell, half the Israel Adesanya versus John Jones talk we just had kind of goes out the window. I don't think John Jones loses this weekend, but it's going to be some good fights this weekend. So make sure you tune in. We'll be doing a fight companion. With that being said, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out.